struggle is real, my friends. <laughs> At least you're skinny. <laughs> I just know how to act with that. Oh, my, my speaker grill. Hey, you got a speaker grill. Oh baby, you know you want to start. Now it won't run, right? Almost, you almost had it. Well, at least shut the sunroof. So welcome to the channel. Welcome to the new 1998 EJ8 Honda Civic. Just picked this guy up before I went to Cleveland Cars. As you can see, it will make it nice. So you know what I do with every new car. I clean them up real good first. But it needs a quarter panel. It's got the typical rust here. I'm going to try to find the whole skin. Draw out the spot welds. Put a whole new quarter panel on it. But honestly... I've seen worse on Facebook Marketplace. It's super low. Which, so is that car. Uh, front's been hit by some kids, obviously. Spot welds need fixed and put a new lower on. They got a deck screw right there. Bumper's messed up. Needs a head gasket, like they all do. Heater core has been looped. Well, maybe not. My lad. Not too bad under here. Not too bad from what I could see. New gas tank straps, the exhaust looks new, the frame rail looks all right. Super low. I think it's got some Megan coilovers on it or lowering springs or something. It's an EX. This quarter is worse, but I can get the replacements where you cut this out and you weld a new piece in. The only reason I have to do it on the other side up high is because it's dented up here. Unless I can get that fixed somehow. But solid here too. Needs a door. Those are easy to get. Solid under here too. This is actually a clean car. I bought it without even looking at it. I see some scotch locks. And the ground right there, have to work it ground. We're gonna hit the engine bay with some oven cleaner. Oven engine bay's been painted black. Windshield's cracked. Interior is complete besides the headliner. And the door panels back there for that door. All bunch of screws in here. And then in here we have the broken hood release like every Honda in the world. Thing for the headliner. Oh, there's the X for the EX. And then just more miscellaneous clips and screws. Had a Sony. Automatic. It starts, but like I said, it needs a head gasket so it doesn't run very good. Or when it starts. No gas in it either. doesn't ride very smooth. It's 
those are cool. There's probably water in the cylinders. Well, they're all firing. Not very good, but we're firing. smell the antifreeze. Oh yeah. <laughs> A lot of pressure in there. Got to spare it out. New battery AC Delco. This stuff stinks. It's black, but that should come right off when I power wash it. And you guys know why I bought this car is because I can get parts for this at the junkyard. I was there the other day and there was a bunch of them. Now this is a 99, so it has the nice front end, which that I'm gonna have to find brand new, but this is a conversion everybody usually does because of the nice bumpers and headlights and hood and fenders. But I can get all this stuff. You get the whole front end for like $200. It's a Civic, super easy, super cheap. Let me pop the trunk for you. But yeah, it's solid back here too. But there's a quarter panel. Someone tried to fix it once. And then this one's not that bad. Salt right there. But she's clean. This floor is solid. There's no trunk carpet. I just noticed that. And whatever the heck this is. Bondo or something. But there's no rust up there. So I don't know what the heck that is. Just a few minutes that I've looked at this car so far, it's actually cleaner than that 2003 EP3 SI back here. If you remember when I got this thing, I did a video just like this on it before I even touched it. And I've got this a long way. This thing was slammed on the ground, needed brakes all the way around, suspension, everything. But now I just drove her all the way back and forth from Indy. She had like 27 miles to the gallon. I wish I got better gas mileage, but it happens. And then, well, you can see they painted here too. But we'll see what it looks like once I jack it up. But I'm going to power wash the engine bay and the car real quick and see how it turns out. I'm loving it already. part about this car is gonna be that quarter panel right there I'm just gonna learn how to do something new that's honestly why I got it too now I can learn how to do body work and then I could paint that car First of all, look at the pinch weld. It's still there. This thing looks solid. A little bit of surface. No, not even. I think we got a potential car here. I thought I found one. Wow. Actually, they look like brand new coilers. Oh, look at that. They're completely, oh, they're just sleeves. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I think that's as high as they go. Yep, they're maxed out. Even the inner fender looks good. No inner fender, but looks good. Heck yeah. Alrighty, so I got it cleaned up a little bit. Give her the spit shine real quick. Hose her down, power washed her off, soaped her up, sudded her up. 
Uh, this motor is actually a D16Y7. I believe this is supposed to be a D16Y8. Yeah, if you look at the VIN. Oh, that says EJ8 too. What's the last? 04631. 04631. Yeah, it's got the right the right block with the wrong head, I believe. Because I think this is supposed to have VTEC from the factory being a coupe. But I could be wrong. I've never had a D-Series before. But we're going to take this thing out. We don't really care about this engine. This thing does not matter. And when, I'm, when I said they had the heater core bypass, I think they did because there's a random pipe right there. Cleaned her up. Oh, she starts by herself. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw that. That was pretty awesome. I think I have the key on. That means it's stuck. Just start, wait, no. It has a remote start, it must, because the key's in my pocket. Yeah, it must be a remote start or something. I see a ground, and I see some taps right here. I really don't feel like getting underneath it. But as you can see, she doesn't run very well. She needs a heater, a um, head gasket. Oh, there's the switch. Nice. I was worried about this. Wor worried I didn't have that. Awesome. I got that too. But it needs door panels. You can see someone's painted that before. I need those. The door panel that goes here back there is all broke. It's painted. It needs a headliner. But everything else is complete. That I've noticed so far. It's got all the panels. It's got this nice custom upholstery right here. E-brake works really good. That's why I slid down the driveway right there. It's got the tweeters. Definitely need that gasket. Definitely need that gasket. There's not any water in it. A little bit. I don't think it should feel the pressure that fast. Looks a lot cleaner though. We'll make it really nice. Found another Honda screw. Well, the hazards work, so when I gap these fools in my Civic, sunroof works. Maybe. Yep. The blower fan sounds a little, little ratchet. So I'm gonna put the front bumper on so it doesn't look like a complete, complete piece of crap is sitting in my driveway. end on it looks four percent better than it did before so you get an idea what it's actually gonna look like once it's actually all nice let me close this door fender's been redone the whole front end's been wrecked but I'm surprised underneath was pretty clean I don't know what all this is but You'll have that. Like I said, it needs a door. It needs the fenders fixed, the quarter panels fixed. I'm just gonna get a whole new front end, a new fender, new bumper, new hood, new headlights, new grill, new core support, everything. I'm gonna go hit the Youngstown U pool tomorrow and see what I can find. Oh, I'm excited. Now when I go to the junkyard, I'll actually be able to get stuff instead of just looking for random stuff for this. 
but here's the next build for the channel i was wrong about the engine tag that tags for the the transmission not for the engine it took all these parts right here to make the civic look how it does today i mean that's a joke there's some other stuff here like k-series water pump but that came from the civic all the brakes came from the civic fender all kinds of stuff i'm talking about this rust bucket yes this car is way worse than that one luckily i like this car more than that one